Welcome to the another master cam tutorial from Cam Force. This video will help you to learn the multipass options used for 2D contour toolpath in master cam. We have already created a contour toolpath for this geometry. If you doesn't know how to create contour toolpath, the tutorial link is available on the description. We have also provided the Mastercam downloading link. Multipass is the option enabled in the contour toolpath to remove excess material by adding one or more passes with a particular step over. In this case, you can observe that the tool does not remove the excess material of outer boundary. In order to solve this, go to parameter and enable multipass options. Under the rough tab, I enable the number of passes into 2. This is the roughing pass count. Now we will get one more additional pass for roughing. Then the spacing is the distance between rough passes. I will use 60% of tool dia that means 6 mm. Also enable the keep tool down option otherwise tool will retract each time for the multi passes. After applying these changes regenerate the program and let us backplot the simulation. In case the tool is lifting up for the new depth of cuts, go to depth cut parameters then enable keep tool down option. Now you can observe that end air material is machined out by this multipass options. To finishing options used in the multipass tab. This finishing is used for the wall finishing options. The first one is the number of finishing passes required. I will give it as 1. Then the spacing is the finishing xy step over that is wall finishing width of cut. Point 0.2 will be ok for this. Then the spring pass is the simple ideal passes without any step over. I don't require any ideal passes here so I set as 0. Speed and feed can be overrided for the finishing motion by enabling here. You can specify the required feed speed for the finishing applications. Now we will able to see the additional finishing passes are come. This additional finishing passes is taken for every depth of cut. If you require finishing cut only in the final depth then go to the parameter once again and enable the finish passes into final depth. Now we can see the change finish pass is taken only at the final depth. In order to do this your tool should have enough float length. That's all for this tutorial. All our viewers can download the model file from description box and you can practice with the same. For more CAD CAM tutorials and CNC programming lessons, subscribe this channel right now and share your valuable feedbacks and doubts by commenting. Happy learning. Bye bye.